I had already weaned my thoughts away from love and family life as the only happiness. When my mother died, I became to my sister, who is eight years younger than I, both father and mother. That purpose was great and holy to me. I never thought of anything else. Only in the early 20s, between 22 and 25, a longing for something else came to me. Not that my sister became a burden to me, God forbid, but I wanted something more. A full life, happiness and love. At that time I used to cry very much and wet my pillow with my tears. And I was easily angered then too, so easy I was far from an angel. But later, the longing left me, as if it had been charmed away. Olga grew older, and her talents began to ripen. And she became again my sole concern. What else can there be? Of course, when my sister went to Petrograd, I was left all alone. That old longing reawoke in my bosom. But I told myself that one of my years had no right to expect happiness and love. So I determined to tear out, to uproot from my heart every longing. I tried to convince myself that my goal in life had already been attained. That I had placed this helpless child securely upon her feet. Yes, I loved him all the time, but I fought my feelings. Life had taught me to repress and to restrain my desires. I argued, he is too far above me, and I am too worn out for him. And furthermore, I tried to convince myself that his daily visits here were accidental, that they were not intended for me at all, but for his friend and nephew, Heinz, who happens to board with me. Well, you see how it is. And perhaps for that very reason that I had given up all ideas of love and had sought to deceive myself into believing that I was a dried up twig on the tree of life. But now the sap and the strength flow again within me. Now I am young once more. Our life, life, to drink it down in copious draughts, to feel it in every pulse beat. Our Lizzie, play me a triumphal march, a song of joy, of jubilation, 